you already know, I wake up ready, ready to go, ready to golf. It is a beautiful day here in Cape Valley, and we're gonna head over to the golf course. How are you guys doing today? Good. How are you? To yeah. Real quick? Thanks a lot. I'll come around the other side. The Yocha Dehi people have lived here over 15,000 years. Yocha Dehi Golf Club is located in Brooks, California, in the heart of Cape Valley. Yocha Dehi means home by the spring water in the native Patwin language. The course was designed by Robert Wallace and opened up in 2008, so it's a pretty young golf course. And it neighbors Cash Creek Casino. I know that the tribe expressed interest in, in, in adding a golf course to the casino experience, and uh, um, you know through that uh, they ended up hiring Troon, uh, Troon Golf to come out and help uh, build the property um, and be here um, on a obviously consulting base. Troon is still obviously part of the, this property, and we're still a Troon managed golf course. interesting story about a hole two. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, is, were you guys rebuilding the tee box or something and you, you came upon a burial site? The, the story is on the right side of hole two. It's a dog okay. leg right. Originally the hole was supposed to be designed differently. Uh, there was a different design uh, in, in mind, but when and during the initial construction they did come across, but uh, assuming that was probably, you know, uh, some ancestral remains. They had to reroute the hole, and now it's a dog leg right. So when you go out there and play, uh, you'll see the whole right sides. Uh, we have labeled as an environmentally protected area, um, and uh, so we we prefer golfers don't go in there. But it's the grasslands on the right, and uh, we rerouted the entire hole to the left of it, and it dog legs around it now. So actually, the hole is pretty neat. You, you know, even though we had to reroute it. Yocha Dehi is highly ranked on like everywhere, Golf Week, Golf Digest. As the golf course is partially on tribal land, the biggest difference is there are no houses, no developments, no highways, no noise, and you really are submerged into a peaceful setting within nature. The loudest sound I heard were the birds chirping. Nice birdie. We're 
on hole 15. It is a split fairway and we're going to go down the right side, which is the safer side. That is a wrap for the golf course, but don't leave just yet. We're going to head over to Seca Hills Tasting Room. Now, this is a different type of tasting. You probably haven't been to one of these. I don't think it's that common, but maybe it is and I don't know. So we're doing an, an olive oil tasting. Here, take a look. Here is how you properly do an olive oil tasting. First, you swirl to release the oil's aroma molecules. Then you sniff. You slurp it. Oh, and then you swallow. Ooh, this one has a nice little kick spice to it. To counteract it, we're going to do the pomegranate balsamic. I love all the pomegranate balsamic vinegar, fig balsamic vinegar, and the elderberry is the best time for elderberry now for immune system too. Wow. This is amazing. You know, before I let you go, I was told that to do an authentic, genuine olive oil tasting, uh, you don't use bread. 